Hello and welcome to In My Element. In this video, we're taking a look at cell structure and looking at animals and plant cells. The first thing we're going to look at today is animal cells and plant cells, their similarities and their differences. So we will look at the organelles within them, the ones that are similar and the ones that are different. And you will have seen some of these already. If we take the animal cell first um, and we're going to go around one by one with these arrows. So the first one here that we're pointing to is the mitochondria. You might see this sometimes represented in this shape on your diagrams. You might also see it with a wiggly line in the middle. And the, the function of the mitochondria is the site of respiration. That's where respiration happens. Now, the next one here is the light purple bit. That's the nucleus. So sometimes the nucleus is referred to as the brain of the cell. I like to prefer refer to it as the control centre of the cell and it's where the DNA is contained. So this is all of our genetic material. OK, remember, this is an animal cell that is a generic, a general animal cell. OK, the pink substance in the middle is the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm here is where all the reactions in the cell take place. And then we've got these little grey dots that we're going to name as ribosomes. You get many of these in your cells. They are the site of protein synthesis. And then finally, you've got your cell membrane. That is the outside, the edge of the cell, and that controls what goes in and out of the cell. And as you can see from this general animal cell, it gives it a very vague shape, but a very loose shape. If we move on to look at plant cells, you can see here the plant cell is very different. Now, there's a couple of things colour-wise that are really important I'll explain as we go through. Now, some of these organelles, like the mitochondria, are present in plants and animal cells. Now, the vacuole. The vacuole is present in just the plant cell, and it's this central space here in the plant cell. It can be a different, it can be a funny shape, um, and it holds the cell sap. And then you've also got the chloroplast. Now, these are green, and the reason these are green is because they contain the chemical chlorophyll, which is required for photosynthesis. Then the inside layer, and this is one that many people get wrong, is known as the cell membrane. Again, present in an animal cell. Then you've got the cytoplasm. It doesn't matter what colour the cytoplasm is. The cytoplasm is here, so the reactions take place. And then we've got the cell wall. Notice here, the cell wall is really rigid. It's giving it a really firm structure. You've got a regular shape, okay? The nucleus, again, we hold the genetic material. So again, the plant cell does have DNA. It's not just animal cells that have DNA. The plant cells have DNA um, to identify their characteristics. Again, it tells them, it's telling us uh, whether what type of plant it is, what type of petals it may have, all that sort of information. What you need to be able to do is highlight these similarities. So if we have a look, they've both got the mitochondria. They've both got the cytoplasm. Doesn't matter that they're different colors. They've both got the nucleus. Again, doesn't matter where that is in the cell. And they've both got the cell membrane. You can see where that is. However, the difference is Look at what is present in the plant cell, which is not in the animal cell. The cell wall, the chloroplast for photosynthesis, and the vacuole. You must know those differences. And this one in particular, the cell wall, be really careful that it's the outside layer you label as the cell wall. Now, you've got those pictures on the worksheet. You will need to be able to label them and identify them. And sometimes, depending on the test question, depending on the worksheet, they might look a little bit different, but the organelles will still remain the same. And like we mentioned, you need to know what the function of each organelle is. So we've got the nucleus, we've talked about it, it's the control center of the cell. Then we've got the cell membrane, it holds the cell together, also allows substances to go in and out of the cell. Cytoplasm, where the reactions of the cell take place. The ribosomes, protein synthesis, where the proteins are made. And then this here, just move me for a second. You can tell that that's the mitochondria and that is the site of aerobic respiration. Then the three organelles that appear just in the plant cell, 
cell wall, rigid outer layer made of cellulose. They may ask you that. They may say, what, what, which organelle in a plant cell is made of cellulose? And you will know to label that as the cell wall. Vacuole, like we said, filled with cell sap. So sugars and salt solution. And then the chloroplast, you've got the site of photosynthesis. And you've got your plants and animal cells down here.